What's going on, fight fans? This is Sean with Boxing Social and Other Sports here with my man Olu. What's happening? Olu, we're going to hit on a subject. Yeah. About the NFL. And I'm going to let you take the lead. All right. So um, today we're going to be talking about the Miles Garrett, uh, Mason Rudolph situation. And then okay. we're going to segue into uh, a couple of questions that I have for you and, of course, the viewers out there. All right. So, Miles Garrett and Mason Rudolph, just in case you guys didn't know. This happened about a week and a half ago. Uh, they got into a scuffle off of the field. I mean, on the field. Miles mm -hmm. uh, Garrett uh, ripped off Mason Rudolph's helmet. Miles Garrett was being held back by Mason Rudolph's team teammates, and Mason Rudolph charged that charged after Miles Garrett after he was being held back, and while he was charging after Miles Garrett, he got clocked by his own helmet. So uh I wanted I want, wanted to get your take and if you if you're paying attention to this out there uh what do you think about athletes suing athletes for on-field issues All right so here's my take on that Um first of all let's rewind a little bit mm -hmm. So who first committed the foul Mason Rudolph instigated the whole thing, started the whole thing. What did he do to instigate it? Okay, so Miles, first of all, Mason Rudolph was was playing trash. He was playing horribly. He okay. threw, he threw, he he turned over the ball. Oh, so they were losing. They were they were getting killed. Okay. Yes. All right. So and he's the quarterback. All right. He turned the ball over four or five times during the game. I can't remember. It's, I think it's four. Okay. So last play of the game. Um, uh, Miles Garrett is uh, and he, Miles Garrett has been killing Mason all night. Last play of the game, Miles Garrett tackles Mason Rudolph. While he was tackling Mason Rudolph, Mason Rudolph grabbed onto his helmet and tried to twist his hel and was twisting his helmet. All right, so a little bit of dirty play. Dirty play. Of does course. this happen a lot in football? Of course, of course. This, so everybody does it. it so this wasn't the first time this ever happened to this guy. I mean, you gotta assume when you're in the pile, yeah, somebody's has, grabbing yeah. your nuts. Yeah. So he's used it, to this. Did, he, so nothing yeah. uncommon. Nothing All uncommon, right? right? So um, Mason Rudolph is twisting Miles Garrett helmet. Miles Garrett grabs his helmet. He twists it and he successfully rips it off. Okay. Okay. Now, um, a little scuffle, you know, we've seen this before in the league, right? Uh -huh. Nothing new under the sun. So, um, they get into it. Uh, Mason Rudolph's teammates, offensive linemen at that, not no, not no small dudes. They're okay. huge dudes. All right. So, uh, Mason Rudolph's teammates, they come and then they hold Miles Garrett back. Miles Garrett is a big, big, big man. All right, so... Mason's team mm -hmm. is holding back Miles. Miles, the okay. opposing teammate. Okay, right. So, all right, you know they're they're like, okay, you know, hey, lay off of our quarterback or whatnot. They're okay. not doing anything right, right, at right. this point, right? So they're just restraining. They're just restraining time. him, okay. right. right? So now Mason Rudolph is a quarterback. Mason Rudolph is my size. He's he's a smaller guy. Now okay. he's charging at Miles Garrett, who's being restrained. Right? Okay. Miles Garrett reaches over Mason's teammates and clock him with his helmet. With the helmet he ripped off of Mason. He ripped off of Mason. Oh, well, this is a no brainer. Mm -hmm. Mason should be able to charge Miles. How so? Where, where did you come up with that conclusion? Please explain your theory, please. <laughs> Listen, that is an open and shut case. Well, how? How? Please. How is it open and shut? Any lawyer will take that, and they're going to win every day with that. How? Okay. So, me and you playing football, right? Right, right, right. We going at it. We hitting and we pushing and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. You might get had, mad, and you might, boom, hit me, mm -hmm. and then I hit you back, mm -hmm. and then you hit me back, and we scuffle. Mm -hmm. That happens. Right. Both probably both going to get suspended. No, no, no. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But go I'm ahead. talking about the average two people that's going to fight. Throw blows back and forth. Mm, we'll talk about For that the most later. part. We'll talk about that later. For the most that, part. That, that, that's okay. another controversy okay. in itself, but go ahead. So, how can I easily demonstrate this? You said that Miles ripped off the helmet. Right. Now, I want everybody out there 
that don't know law, I don't know if you can hear me, that don't know law, once he ripped off his helmet and you said he cracked him over the head with Mason's helmet, right? Right. Basically, at this point, we ain't talking about fists, flesh to flesh. This guy has a weapon, an object in his hand. So if I take your helmet off mm -hmm. and I got it like this, and now I'm cracking you with your own helmet, this is a weapon in my hand now. Mm -hmm. This ain't us hitting each other in the face, fist mm -hmm. to fist. This is a weapon. Mm -hmm. And I'm cracking you with the weapon. Mm -hmm. He might also, Somebody should have just gave him a bat. Okay. Can I ask all you right, something? Right. If he had a bat mm -hmm. and he cracked Mason over the head, mm -hmm. should he be able to sue him and get charged for it if he had a bat? Depends. Now, since you're interjecting uh, law into this situation. It's a this, weapon. Okay. Okay. Not agree not disagreeing with you there. Yeah. All right. So there's this there's this uh there's this particular law in certain states. It's called stand your ground. That's Florida. And Texas. Texas has a version, Louisiana has a version, Alabama has a version. But not in this situation. Mm, some people some people morally take stand your ground. Cause keep in mind I told you Miles Garrett was being restrained. All right. Like, so he was my being question, held my, back. My question is, do you think that they can prove that this bigger guy, Miles, mm -hmm. and you said Mason is a little small little yeah, guy about your size. Like, listen. No, 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 we're dealing with standing ground. So uh -huh. you're telling me that mm -hmm. Miles, the bigger guy, right. felt threatened and scared for his life. Okay. Against okay. little Mason. And now, you have late, late, now keep on. And you have all these football players around y'all. And he's so scared for his life he felt now, he gotta stand his ground that, and that, hit him with the helmet. That that shouldn't matter. If we're both getting into a fight, you grab a gun and then there's one gun in the fight. You grab the gun and then you try to use it on me, and then I grab the gun from you, and I successfully pull it from you and shoot you, it shouldn't matter. Well, there's bigger implications. With the gun, first of all, you have to be licensed. You have to be registered. And Throw then, all that aside. Yeah, Throw but, all that aside. Well, uh, you can't, you, you can't take a gun and stand your ground throw, and a helmet. It's totally no, no, two no, different no. things. Throw, throw all that aside. If we're in a bar fight and you grab a bottle, you know, and then you try to hit me with it, and then you miss, and then I grab that bottle, and I, I successfully hit you with it. You can't say it had anything to do with your size if you were the instigator. And especially if somebody's trying to hold me back, and then you charge towards me. Because keep in mind, you remember what I said? Mason Rudolph instigated this stuff. Now, my next question is... Hold on, let me ask you. So okay. what happened to both of the guys? Okay, now, okay we can get into that. So okay. um, it was a big melee. So once he clocked Mason Rudolph over the head. All right, what happened there? One of the teammates that was holding him back uh, tackled him to the ground and started wailing on him, punching him and kicking him. Um, I think it was Marquise or or his brother Mike. They're twins. It's two, two, two pouncy brothers, right? Um, All right, so now anybody gets involved and starts throwing punches now need to be automatically suspended. Right, so, so, so here's what happened. So three players got suspended. Miles Garrett, Miles Garrett, who's suspended, he's suspended indefinitely for the rest of the year, and might be next season as well too. Uh, Mark, because he hit him with the weapon. Because he hit him with the helmet. The weapon. The helmet. Okay. If it's the law would say if it's a, I mean if it's, it's a, a weapon, weapon, he should be. The law would come in with or without uh, charges, right? Right. We'll see. Okay. If you think that that's a weapon, I have another question for you. But okay, so what happened was. Um, Miles Garrett got suspended indefinitely for six games. Uh, uh, Marquise got suspended for three. It was reduced to two. Um, and then there was this other dude while all this was going on and Mason was playing uh, Mason was playing the victim. It was this other dude on, on Miles' team who came and pushed Mason in the back. <laughs> okay. He got suspended for one game. Yeah. Mason got fined. So it was just a push, not a hit. It was just a push. Okay. He just pushed him. Yeah. Mason got fined. Just a fine. Okay. Well, who? I, well, who hit who first? Who? What do you mean? Who actually hit the person first? Who got hit first? Who threw the first punch? 
Well, Mason was the aggressor, the instigator. Yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about instigator. <sighs> I can instigate you all day long. But did you can't I grab but, my helmet? Okay. That's outside the 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 the, the game. The scope of the game. So that's why he got why he got fined. That's why he got no, but he got fined, right, right? right? He got fined for that. Yeah, he All got right, fined. But who threw the first punch? There was no punches being thrown. Who threw the first swing? Miles, you could say Miles Garrett. But there, there on, it is. Mason Rudolph did hit the guy in the nuts. Neo. After he got hit or before? No, no, no. This is this is why this is before helmets were off. Okay. So he's twisting his helmet, knee him in the nuts. And he needed him and nuts. allegedly called him a racial slur. Yeah. Okay? So, um, Miles Garrett gets a fine. Now, I'll tell you my theory on this. Now, the reason why everybody would agree that saw that, that, that clip says everybody should be suspended, right? Mason Rudolph, Miles Garrett, the dude who pushed Mason Rudolph, Cowardly, mm-hmm. uh, and Marquise, right? Mm-hmm. If you were involved in it, you should be suspended. That's what right. that's what the common person would say. Sure. The NFL didn't suspend Mason Rudolph. The reason why I think so is because they didn't want litigation in this. Because Mason Rudolph's agent came out and said, we're looking into all, all options are on the table. Legal options. So the NFL didn't want legal matters coming into the situation. So they said, okay. We'll just give him a small fine, and that's what it was—a small fine. Mm-hmm. And so they didn't suspend him. Because All right. So here's my take on that. Mm-hmm. So I wholeheartedly agree. Mason, Miles, the guy that punched on um, Miles, the guy that pushed the other guy in the back, mm-hmm. anybody that had partake of putting their hands on somebody should be fined and suspended. Agreed. Yep, agree. I agree with that. Agree, agree. Okay, but so, to your original, so, so, but to your original question, mm-hmm. because he took a weapon, which mm-hmm. you call a helmet, okay. and you cracked so, him over his head. Right. So I so, think that he. You, your question was, should he be able to? You said sue, right? Right. Should Mason be able to sue? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. now let me let me ask you this yeah. question: Why While they're all it, suspended and they're all going to be well, okay, suspended, so so, so so so, why is it only in football? We get shocked when these players who constantly, you know, are killing themselves. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me let me back up. Let me back up. Mm-hmm. We can't use basketball because we don't really have a weapon. Um, the only way I think that you can prove a basketball would be a weapon and that you can sue a person. All right, let me ask you this. I'm gonna go with two sports. Let's go with sport number one. I'm gonna choose. I want to choose basketball, and I want to choose. Baseball. Let I want to choose those sports. And I, was, and I was getting to baseball. But, this, but this before stuff, baseball, let this, me do basketball, though. If me and you get into a scuffle. Right. Right? A scuffle is a scuffle, yeah, regardless of yeah, what you use. Yeah, yeah, okay. But now we got to deal with not dealing with our fist, but we're dealing with objects, right? It shouldn't matter. But listen. It shouldn't listen. matter. Yeah, let me finish. Okay. Let me, give, let me give you an example. Okay. We get into the scuffle. You push me, I'll push you. You right. push me, right? Mm-hmm. And I get mad and I grab a basketball. Mm-hmm. Not my fist, not a right. push, not a hand. And I take that basketball and I throw it as hard as I can. And it hits you in your face. Mm-hmm. And when it hits you, your eye went automatic blurry. And you said you have a hard time seeing. Mm-hmm. And you can't see out your eye. Cause now I punch you, I threw a basketball. And the doctors take you to the back because you said, I just can't see. You know, mm-hmm. he stung me really bad at the basketball. Mm-hmm. And what happens, you get to the back and they do an x-ray and a check and they find out. Oh my God! When he threw that basketball hard, he he detached your retina. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna be able to play again. Mm-hmm. Should you be able to sue me because I threw a basketball and busted your eye and I detached your retina? And now you can't see out that eye no more. It's hypothetical, but would you, you consider that basketball a weapon? What do you mean? Because I took that basketball and that has that happened object, before. That and has I've happened lost, before. And it detached somebody's retina. Yeah, I'll give you a good one. Uh, Albert Hainsworth, I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong if you're watching this. So a referee threw a flag up in the air, and it hit Albert in the eye. This is during the football game. Mm -hmm. It hit him in the eye, and I believe he sued. No, no, no. I don't know if he sued or not, but he was taken care of. These players have insurance because everything is 
quote considered in the scope of the game. So the ref threw it up. Field. Yeah, the ref threw it up. But it hit the guy in the eye. Hit the guy in the eye. So the guy that got hit in the eye, he should be able to sue for negligence. But if you, when you step out on the field, you gotta be careful where you throwing that. No, 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 no. If you step out on the field, you are like, this is what you're signing up for. This is what I'm saying. So now when you start saying suing, right? You you take it to a whole new level. Like, you know, when you step out on the field, anything can happen. You can get, you could tear your ACL. You could tear, you know, you could dislocate uh, your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen in no matter what sport you play. Mm -hmm. But that's, so the question that I was going to get to is baseball, right? Because in baseball, they have this thing where pitchers throw a pitch at you. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you ever been hit by a baseball. Oh, yeah. I've played baseball my whole life. If you felt the baseball. Oh, that stings and hurts. That joint hurts. Mm -hmm. And you can die from a, you could die mm -hmm. from a baseball being hit at your head. Mm -hmm. you could, I mean, there's been several players who yeah. don't wear uh, helmets while they're batting, and they've been putting comas for that, right? It's been kids who go to the baseball park, and they're just spectators. A fly ball... Uh, is hit. So I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer this question. So okay. if I'm up the bat, uh -huh. and I feel that there's animosity, or I can prove that you're trying to beam me with the ball, right. and you hit me and hurt me and bust my eye or break right. my jaw, I think I should have the right to sue. Okay. But I got to be able to prove it. That of there was ill animosity. But, but there's ill intentions. Of of course there's animosity, but that's the culture of baseball. Well, somebody though. can throw a hundred mile fastball and just lose control and hit me. And, and it might break my jaw, but, and it could but, and it could be innocent. But, but if I can prove it, I'm like, you know what? I think this guy got it out for me. We've had up, worse. When you when you step up to the plate, that's what happens. Are you saying that I shouldn't be able to sue? No. What I'm saying is, uh, if I can prove that you're trying to beam me, up it's the not ball. even that. Because you know what, the that particular sport in that league will say precedence. This has happened in the past before, so this is part of our game. Because in baseball, it's actually part of the culture. Can I tell you something, Olu? Uh -huh. I'm about to change that culture. When I start hitting everybody with these lawsuits, they're going to they gonna stop. You, you one person going up against the industry of machine. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to make an example out of somebody. <laughs> I'm going to make an example out of somebody. Okay. okay. Hey, can I tell you something? You start hitting people in the pockets, everything going to change. They have deep pockets. No way. And I'm going to be rich. But, but like, listen. But see, here's the thing. It's part of your collective bargaining agreement. You can't sue them. You have to go to arbitration. And then arbitration is going to lean towards the league. That's what these collective bargaining agreements are all about. That's why I'm like, man. And then again, in Mason Rudolph's case, hey, if I was his teammate, like the way the NFL is, we handle it on the field. Same thing with baseball. We handle it on the field. I didn't play baseball. Uh, I played football. I didn't make it into the league. But I want to assume, like, man, we 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 – we really going to take the legal route for something that happened at a bar fight? It's All right, like Olu, so what if the guy, y'all got into it, and he took off your mask? Uh-huh. And say he cracked you in the head with it, mm -hmm. and you end up going down with concussion. Then you, you start. You get a concussion? Listen, listen, and then, <laughs> listen, wait a minute. And then you start having these serious migraines to the point where they said, Olu, he did so much bad nerve damage when he crashed with that helmet that you're not going to be able to play again. Man, it's, would it's you just so, say, would you, would, listen, so, would, would you, so would you say, listen, that would you, you say, said that? Would, would, it's so <laughs> crazy that you said that because you want to know what happened to Mason Rudolph a couple of games before the cold, like Mason Rudolph got hit so hard. He was having seizures on the field four weeks earlier. Yeah. And this guy's still playing. So the NFL could see well, he down, had to get cleared by the doctor. He had to, yeah. but like, listen, you have seizures on the field, you should be out for the rest of the year. I like, agree. The, the, the whole world saw this. This is on ESPN. This yeah. is on YouTube. Your arms is shaking, and then yeah. you, your limbs go numb. Oh, and then listen. they cart you off the field. So can I ask you something? Do you think uh, Miles saw that and Miles knew what happened? What you mean? Yeah, he, he knew what he did. I mean. No, I'm talking about do you think he knew about his seizures, that, that Mason had seizures? He wasn't for... thinking about that at the, at the period of time. That's not what I asked. What did you do ask? Do you think he knows that he had seizures four weeks prior? Did everybody in the NFL pretty much know about this? Yeah. 
the, the, the world knew about it. It was on live TV. The dude was having seizures. Oh, man. Yeah, when when Mason shoots him, he really going to get Listen, it now. But here's what I'm saying, He though. really going to get it now. Here's what I'm saying, though, Sean. You say he wasn't thinking because of heat of the moment. Right. You know how many people went to jail because of heat of the moment? Heat of the moment. Right, right. But, Sean, here's what I'm saying. You step back on out on that field, on the field of play. Yeah. Right. The only time in, in in sports history that I could ever think of of people getting sued at a sporting event, besides Pee Wee leagues where mm-hmm. parents go crazy, mm-hmm. was uh, the brawl at at, at 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 the Palace. Indiana Pacers. Jermaine O'Neal, Stephen Jackson, when they went into the stands and they were fighting. Yeah. Th- th- that's that. Th- that's, ma- that was called the Malice at the Palace. Malice at the Palace. Exactly. Malice at the Palace. That's when I could think of stuff, you know, okay. I think that's why you like Steven Jackson so much. Of course. Of course. He he was riding for his dude, man. Hey, you can't throw ice in my guy. Mm, that, we should all have all right. Steven Jackson friends. Oh, oh, Lou. So what if uh, Miles, when he cracked him over the head in a helmet, mm-hmm. I mean, cracked him over his head, yeah, with the helmet. Right. If Mason would have went down face first and just started freaking out in the seizures, and when he woke up, said, "You know what? I'm gonna sue him." Hey, you think he should have the right to sue him? Hey, you sue him. That's what you get. Like, you shouldn't have ran out. He was being held back by two big dudes. Like, did he punch and hit him? What do you mean? He was yeah. He was. That's what he was trying to do. No, did he no, punch listen, and hit listen, him? Listen, listen, Sean. If I'm a defense lawyer for Miles Garrett, and then again, if I'm a defense lawyer for the NFL, we could sit down there and point to the fact that you were charging at a guy who was being restrained. And you, your intent was to punch and hurt him because it was in Mason Rudolph's eyes. Mm-hmm. Like, you ran 15 yards to try to get at this dude, and he would have never hit you. Now, Olu, I think there wouldn't have been a problem if he charged and and Mason hauled back and punched him square in his face, his nose. But the fact that he took it a helmet, matter. they're going to like, use listen, that listen, helmet listen, listen, as listen, a listen, weapon. Listen, listen. Regar- you, you can sit down there and say your fist is a weapon. The dude, is, Miles Garrett, is what, 280 pounds. If he lands his fist on you, it's they just They have to be good. registered, like huh? boxers do. UFC oh. and boxers, they have to be registered to be considered weapons. But still, though, if Miles Garrett hits you, it doesn't matter. Assault is assault. All right, so Olu, did I answer your question? You asked me, should you be able to sue? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna ask you. Sue. Now I'm gonna uh-huh. ask you. Okay. Do you think you should have the right to sue? No, not on the field of play, not not on the field. Period. Because once you step out on there, like athletes, it's the reason why. All right, Olu, let me ask you this. And I think there comes a point in time that a person. When it comes to street fights, you know how many street fights I've seen online that I said, man, this person should go to jail for murder. Mm -hmm. I think, and you probably feel different Mm -hmm. because you like to fight. It's in your blood. (laughs) I don't know why you weren't a boxer. Uh, I think when two guys get in a fight right, and you knock a guy out, Uh and I mean he's out, Mm -hmm. like he's, he's on the ground face first. Right. Blood could be coming out. Uh-huh. I mean, you put to sleep. You hear snoring. Okay. You ever see people get knocked out? They snore. Yeah. Do you think they getting back up? No. At that point, when I see a guy knock a person out to a point where he's snoring, he's out and blood is dripping, mm-hmm. eyes are rolled back, mm-hmm. and about four or five times, he just takes his foot and stumps his head in the ground, stumps it, this, runs back. This- Kicks, but where, but where, back but where, but, but where is where where is this context matters? So where is this fight taking place? Streets? Yeah, just or, somewhere on the street. Okay, so on the streets, both parties and, are guilty assault. Like, yeah, you should go to jail. But I'm talking about in no, 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 no. sports. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah I know. But I'm, I'm just getting off that subject for a second. Okay. Now this is totally different. I'm, I'm hopping off sports for a second. I'm okay. just talking about on the streets. How do you feel? Do you feel that? Uh, that when a person is knocked out cold, snoring, mm-hmm. sleeping, should somebody be charged with attempted murder if he starts stomping, kicking his head into the concrete, run back three or four times, kick his head like a football I three mean, or four but, times, but it, okay. and it's all see, being and see, it's all being recorded, see, and and the people prove that this guy is knocked okay, out beyond like, ever. But see, now you got to get into all these nuances, like why, what happened, was it a home invasion? They were just fighting just to fight. 
Uh, like I this, mean, just a fight, just a fight. Okay, I mean, well, and, listen, and the guy's already knocked it's out. Not, sleeping. It's not, it's not being sanctioned. So if the law goes I, after I, them, yeah, no, yeah. no. What I'm saying is, do you feel? This is just your personal opinion. Right. Your personal opinion. If you knock, if if the this guy gets knocked out mm-hmm. and he's sleep, he's snoring, right. he's not moving at all. Right, like he's out. If you kill him, you kill them. No, we're not talking about killing him. Okay, okay. I think you're missing a point. My my thing is after I got him knocked out, right, right, and stomping. And look, and I'm looking, right. Like, oh, he's out. Right. He's sleep. He's, he's snoring. Stomping. Everybody laughing. Yeah. Then he said, you know what? I'm gonna get him some more. Okay. And I just start stomping as hard as I can. And what? And happens? I'm just smashing the blood and eyes. Amer- and, and American and then, me, and, and American and then, X and type then, stuff. And then, yeah. And then I'm looking. You know what? Boom, I'm going to kick him like a football four or five times. Okay. And I'm not saying the guy dies. Okay. I mean, but this guy's in a hospital now. He's okay. really in a hospital. He's already going to be knocked out. Right. But he's really in a hospital. Okay. And the videotape gets out because, you know, everybody wants to record stuff. Right. The guy that got knocked out, right, but now after he's knocked out, now this guy <laughs> maybe put him in a coma. Okay. Uh, neurological damage. Okay. And the doctor's saying, well, man, you know, a majority of this, I could tell that your side of your face is crushed because of the stomps and kicks. I can prove okay. that it was because of the blows from the it kicks. Does, like, you know what that's going to be charged as? Assault. All right, but the person that's suing, do you think he should be able to sue for attempted murder? What do you mean? Because the extra kicks and punches and football kicks and extra stuff after I'd have been knocked out, do you think he should be charged with attempted murder at that point? I mean, the DA is going to decide that. Not you. No, I'm asking your personal opinion. Uh And I'm telling you, like, whatever happens. No, you, what do you feel? I'm telling you what I feel. I feel the law is going to handle that. Whatever they decide, I ride with that because that's not sanctioned. It's 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 a raw street fight. So if you kill the guy, you get charged with murder. I feel like you should get charged with murder. Yeah. No. But I'm or, saying or if he even did, if, but even if he didn't if you, murder, him. even if you put the guy in a coma, whatever happens to mm. him, if they charge you with assault, it, you have assault. Like if I was on the jury, you're guilty, bro. Now, if, but I but I also feel that the guy in the coma, if you make it, hey, you need to be charged too. No, I have no problem with them being charged for assault. Okay. Because they're both fighting. I'm right. talking about what happens after the guy's completely knocked out. And right. He's, all right, I'm going to give you what every DA and every attorney use. They call it being rendered unconscious. Mm-hmm. Once you're rendered unconscious and then you continue to attack, right. I think you should be charged for attempted murder. Uh, I mean, just in a fight? Yeah. Mm. Now, let's take it back to the sports field. Now, what if he cracked him over the helmet and he went down in a seizure, and he started shaking, and everybody's like, oh, my God, and they're flipping out, looking at him, right? Now, so the two guys I was holding back, Mason, mm-hmm. and they turned around and said, oh, my God, this dude's going to seizure. And then and then Ma said, you know what? It's punting time. Ah, uh, nah. Ah, uh, nah. They're no, not, that's what I'm all, saying. They're not going to let him do that. But no, <laughs> but, but what if they turn and look because they're freaking out, and they went to go, and why they go to look and bend down? And Mason runs up and kicks him like a punt while he having a seizure. That happened to Miles Garrett. While he was down on the ground. Oh, he was having a seizure? No, he wasn't. It doesn't matter if somebody ran up to him and kicked him like a football. Yeah. While he while Miles Garrett was on the ground. They kicked him like a football in the head. Marquise, yes. You know what? And I think that Mason should be able to sue Marquise for that. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. First of all, Miles get. I mean, I mean, Miles. Miles should be able to sue Mark Marquise, Marquise. Or, or Mike. Yeah, I think or it's Mike. Marquise. I think it's Marquise. Yeah. yeah, I think he should be able to sue him for that. Okay. Because that is beyond, to me, normal, average uh, contact. See, see, I I disagree because everything stem. Hold on, wait a minute. Are you saying that this guy Mike or Marquise he ran and kicked his head like a football? This dude Miles Garrett was on the ground. Yeah. Because. Because remember, I told you two teammates was holding Miles yeah. Garrett back. Yeah. One of the teammates subdued him on the ground. Okay. While he was on the ground, yeah. Marquise came through, started punching him and kicking him. Now, granted, he had his helmet on. Thankfully, he had his helmet mm-hmm. on. But he was kicking him in the ribs and everything like that. He so, was kicking him in the ribs. Yeah. 
not can, kicking them wet, just well enough off on And Olu, you're telling me that you don't think that malls no. should be able to sue. No. You want to know why? Let me give my reason. Because everything started from that play. It's part of the scope of the game. Miles Garrett tackles you. You hold on, hold on. Miles Garrett tackles you. You get mad. You're kneeing him in the nuts. It's a continuation. You're kneeing him in the nuts. You're you're twisting his helmet. He twists off your helmet successfully. Uh, he's being with strength. Uh, he's being held back. And then you run up on him. You get clocked. And then Odu tackles my uh, Miles Garrett. Wait a minute. Are you saying Mason kicked? Miles no, in the nuts? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, this is before he got clocked. Oh. Now, Miles should be able to sue Mason for kicking him in the nuts. I disagree. That's it's just reproductive like, listen, organs, listen, man. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, it doesn't matter. You know you can cause him not to have hey, children. It doesn't matter. Like, when you step out on that field, pro- professional athletes... Like, this is the scope. Like, it's a continuation of At life. which end does it stop? You want to see barbaric action, Listen, don't you? Ultimately, everything got stopped. Now, if this happens, let's say, in the tunnel, on the way to the locker room, charges have to be pressed. Because now we're not we're not on the field of play anymore. Even, even I've seen, I've seen situations after, like, literally after the game, pr- presses on the field and a scuffle breaks out. Nobody should be sued. Nobody should be in trouble. Suspensions, yeah, because that's part of, you know, hey, we shaking each other's hand. Nah, man, I know what you did. You grabbed my nuts and, you know, when we was in the pile, man. What, what's up with that stuff, man? You try to finger me and knock somebody out. This true story, man. When I was in high school, uh-huh. a fight breaks out. Okay. This dude said this dude was on some, you know, some, you know, uh, shout outs to the LGBTQ community. You know, right. we got nothing against you, but this dude wasn't having it. Yeah. He was like, man, the dude on the other team tried to grab me. Hey, when we go to shake hands, sportsman, the sportsman um, ship line, way a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, man. Dude got kicked off the team, but. <laughs> why why would he do it right there in front of everybody instead of wait till later on or he saw someone? Why right then and there? That was It's it's a dude from another team. He didn't, he didn't really know the guy. That's how I'm saying, man. I, something like that he could have waited until later I felt on. Like, I felt else. like man, I felt like I was in He did it in front of all those witnesses. Oh, this was you. No, this wasn't me. Oh, you said I felt like I No, no, I felt like I was in 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 in, in an episode of Oz. Oh, okay, okay. Cuz he was like, "Man, yeah, man, I I got to stand up for my man." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was hilarious, man. Yeah. It was like, man, I felt like, man, I got to stand up for my manhood. This dude didn't know what to do. This is before the whole Me Too, politically yeah. correct movie. All right, so Olu, I got to ask you. You played football uh-huh. from fourth grade on up. Right. How many fights did you get in? Uh, on the field? <laughs> on the field? Nah, not that many. I didn't get in fights on the field. Off the field is a different situation. How many are on the old field? Because you're not many could be like five. Nah, nah. I, I didn't get in any fights on the field. Wait a minute. You restrained yourself on I mean, the football field? That, yeah, man. Like, listen. I mean, when... uh, They call you the beast from the Middle East. Nah, they ain't going to be the beast from the Middle East. <laughs> I mean, when you... When the whistle, you know... All right, Olu, let me take that back. Did anything happen on the football field that caused you to fight after the game? Nah. Because of what happened on the football field. Nah, I've never had anything happen to me. So, Olu, you were able to keep your calm pretty much most of the time on the football field. You got to. Except for the coach. Uh, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so. Um, so, you can't discuss about the coach? No, nah, I can't discuss about the coach, man. <laughs> but, yeah, so, I mean, on the field, like, on the field, you know, you you know, if you get penalized, man, I was more worried about money. Oh, look, you got so many good stories, and you won't even tell them. Great stories, You won't even tell them. You got great stories. Hey, the story about you and a coach could help some other uh, young African-American player. Nah, because it's not happening in this climate, man. (laughs) How you know? It's just not. You got Alabama, Mississippi. You got all those down south states. Like, nah. But, yeah, I mean, between, between between the football field, between the whistles, man, I, you know, I, I I was worried about my team. Like, we were disciplined not to uh, hurt the team. 
So if you did anything to hurt the team, man, like get a penalty of 15 yard or five yard or unsportsmanlike or anything where you were kicked out, man, man, running after practice, football, that was serious. Oh, look, I got a question for you. How did you feel when you watched the movie Remember the Titans? Uh, I can't even remember Remember In the Titans. In a way, Denzel was trying to help him and him and the, the white teams and... I can't even remember that. I don't think I've seen that movie. You never seen Remember the Titans? Nah, I've seen Friday Night Lights. I don't even remember that. That was so long ago. Oh, yeah. If you haven't seen... It's probably best you don't watch Remember the Titans because you'd be ready to go out here and jack up every white person you saw. Man, I don't remember. I don't even remember that, man. Does that trigger you when you see uh, movies where white people mistreating blacks make you kind of angry when you go out to get something and it just lingers on your mind a little bit? Uh, you know... <laughs> It just depends, man. It depends, man. But, you know, I mean, I'm a cool collective person, though. You know, as long as I, I don't go looking for trouble. But, yeah. so Trouble finds you. Nah, trouble really don't even find me, though, man. So, Olu, so I'm surprised at how you kept your cool, calm, and collective on the field. But you feel. So, you're telling me you don't think that Mason should be able to charge Miles. I mean, you handle it right there. You got to so, some people just need to learn how to take the L. You got whooped, you know. You got clocked. You didn't die. You know what I'm saying? You However, okay. I think that Miles should be able to counter sue for Mason kicking him in the nuts. I don't think he should be. Nobody should sue anybody. It happened on the field. It was a continue. It was a long continuation of the football play. So let me ask you this: do Like, you, what do you think is going to happen with Miles now? Now that he's suspended indefinitely. I mean, he suspended. He, I mean, he appealed it. His appeal got denied. Mm. I, you know, it got I, denied. It got denied. Yeah, like so. This is now now it's suspended now, without pay. Yeah, suspension without pay. How much yeah. was he making a year? Oh man, I think he just signed a, a good contract mm. this past off season. You think he learned his lesson? I mean, I don't think that this is who his character is. He just he saw got red caught up in the moment. Yeah, he, he and that happens a lot in football. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's he's not a player who 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 is known for his antics. He doesn't have any antics. He's not no prima donna. He's somebody who 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 seems like he comes to work and handles his business, man. And he's very 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 good at what he does. He's their best defensive player. One of the best defensive players in the league. So, so not only is he suspended, but this is a top player. So now it hurts his team now that he's suspended. Oh, yeah, it hurts his team. It, it, yeah, it does. Now, with all that happened, high sight 2020, if Miles can go back again to this, do you think he would do the same thing? It's hard to say because I'm not him. I don't I, think he would. Uh, you know how many millions of dollars he's missing I, out of? I, I, here's, he, okay. You I'm heard a man play, with his pockets. I, I'm going to play devil's advocate. All right. All right, so the reason, um, and this just came out today. So the reason Miles Garrett said he reacted that way is because he said Mason Rudolph, while in the scuffle, called him a racial slur, slur allegedly, right? So, well, if he was close enough to hear him say it, then I'm sure everybody that was there heard it. So all he got to do is have one no, or two I mean, people but testify. But keep in mind, Nobody, like, during the scuffle, nobody was really around. It was just him and Mason. Oh, okay. So now it's my word against your word. It's my word okay. against your word. But you'll never be able to prove that. The NFL went back through all the, you know, because they have audio all these, and stuff. Yeah, they have all the And mics. they found it? Nope. They said they didn't find anything. But I don't trust the NFL to begin with. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not to say that Mason is lying or, or Miles is lying, but... Like I said, and listen, and this is not to justify. This is not to justify if Mason said it, but I'm sure Miles probably heard plenty of worse stuff than that being told him throughout his life. At 270 pounds, not too many people better be saying that to him. He's probably heard it. To him, I could tell you, you know what, man? I've never had one time, and I told you about that. But if that happens to me, I probably would have a, a similar reaction. Like you know, man. I mean, think about all these. Um, these white ladies at the park. Uh, what are you doing here? If you look at the, you've people, had them say that to you. Never. If you look at, if you look at, if you look at the people that it happens to, it happens to, you know, they know. They, you know, certain people know, like you know, who you could do what to. And I'm just not the person you're just gonna do that to, man. Like it's just not happening. Well, so, I, I'll tell you, but, I'll but, tell you but, that's but all, Luke. But if it happens, 
I don't think my reaction would be as well either. Olu, you proven to me tonight that you have perseverance. After what that white lady said to you about her food. Oh, man. I was like, Olu has come a long way. Listen. No, 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 no. You show me, man, that you have perseverance. That We're not going to talk. We're not going to talk about. We'll talk about that off the air. But my point being is, my point being is, if I I was going to say, if I was Miles Garrett, I think the mistake that he made was keeping silence initially while all this went on. Like, he walked off the field reflecting about what he just did, and I would have told the media, and I would have I would have told everybody what um, Mason Rudolph did to get me to snap off like that. Why didn't he say what he did in there? That's the question. He said he didn't want to make this a whole big ordeal. He wanted to solve it between Mason and... Until and he Mason. found out he was getting suspended. Definitely. No, but he knew he was going to... Like, when that happened... Everybody said he was going to get suspended. He knew he was going to be suspended. And he should have said that. He should have brought it up. He should have brought it up right then and there. That's the only thing. That, so he heard himself about not doing that. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. Like, he's a calm guy. Like, I mean, I don't think he likes the spotlight and dislike. Like, he's not a guy, I would say, like Antonio Bryant. Antonio um, um, Brown, Brown. I'm sorry. Yeah, Antonio Brown. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I mean... Yeah, he, I, I think he would go back and do it a little bit differently. But Well, know. it's an unfortunate thing that happened. It's done. He suspended. Mason. Did you say he gets suspended? He just got fined. No, nah, man, he used his white privilege. <laughs> so he got hit with the fines. It was he a pretty healthy with, healthy fine. I, you know what? They didn't even report the fine. Look at that. I don't know nothing about the fine. You know what I'm saying? All right, Olu. There you have it. This is Sean with Boxing Socialists and Other Sports. Here from my man, Olu. Uh, what do we want to tell the people? Leave your comments down below. Yeah, let us do know you, what you think. Do you agree that you should get charged? Especially for... if you're an athlete. Like, I mean, yeah. if you're an athlete, you understand. Like, you're just going to have to deal with it right then and there. Leave it alone. Hello, and just so you all know, we're going to try to get our man Ellis Williams up here, uh, Super Bowl champion of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Definitely got to bring him here because I know, Olu, you'll probably have a thousand and one questions. Yeah, of course. And I'm going to try and rate in and say, y'all are wrong. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, Sean, but Sean, you box. You're in the boxing world, yeah. right? So if somebody hits hey, you. Hey, hey, that happened. So um, Max Kellerman, which is one of your favorite guys. Right. Um, oh, God. The guy named Butler. It was Butler. All y'all boxing fans out there, it was Butler and another guy. Um, I forgot the other guy that got, got punched. I think – I forgot who was in the ring. But anyway, after the fight was over, um, they gave the win to the other guy. And the guy that lost, he was so upset. So you know how they raise the guy's hand, the other one they don't raise? So when he went to go shake his hand, he cold cocked, punched that dude and knocked him straight out. Broke his jaw, blood was going everywhere, and uh, he got sued. He got sued and won because it was after the fight, even though they were still in the ring. Uh, but now it becomes an assault because the match was over with. And I want to say Max Kellerman's brother ended up taking that guy in because I think he knew him. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong out there. I, it's been a long time. It's a long time ago this happened. I think Max Kellerman's brother... Took him in, trying to help him. He got carried away, blah, blah, blah. Over time, where the guy ended up killing Max's brother. Oh, man, that's, I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna have to look that up. Y'all wow. remind me of that story. It was a, a long time, but that's how Max Kellerman's brother got killed. Wow, I didn't know about that. Uh, but, but going back to what I said, that guy got hit with the assault and got sued because he punched him after the sanction bout was over. I, okay, and I agree with that. That's 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 perfectly fine because that's that the fight is over. There's no continuation. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. So the gloves are off. The gloves are off. Yeah, yeah. They took the gloves off. Yeah. So now he hit him with his, his with his barefoot. raw knuckles. Yeah. Yes. And so not just is, a knuckle. That, that dude is ha- and he has that wet. Uh, uh, yeah, that stuff gets hard. Yeah. When that um. Rap, talking about the tape, the wrap. Yeah, the yeah. tape. Yeah, and then after it starts to stimulate, it turns hard almost. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's man. almost getting hit with brass it's like, knuckles. If you ask me, okay, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield. No, I think 
No, I think <laughs> I think we're going back to this. I think that Evander should Sue, be able to sue, sue because Mike he Tyson? bit his ear. No. <laughs> All right, we're going to end it on that All note. All is fair in war. All right, we're going to end it on that note. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let us know what you think. Till next hey, time, listen. Sean and Olu. Hey, 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 I just want to say one thing. Evander better stop. He but he should have need Mike Tyson, elbowed him, take off the gloves, choke him. Hey, that's that's war right there, Too man. Too many millions of dollars was on the line for that to go down like that. Hey, and, and it went down what like you, that. What you're forgetting about is all the mobs and people that put money on this that would have lost millions. Somebody wouldn't have lived to see the rest of that night with all the money the mobs put down on, on these fights. Hey, I'm just saying, man, it already went down that path. Y'all come, come get a look. Like, th this is the streets. <laughs> We're signing out, y'all. <laughs>